Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take an in-depth look at this amazing Alice of the Looking Glass Platinum Limited Edition set that was gifted to me. So stay tuned as we take a look at all the details and I definitely want to know what you guys think. All right, so let's take a look at the box first. So this is your, your typical platinum size box. Um, they're quite large. They weigh roughly between 10 and 11 pounds. Um, but you can see the Disney Star logo there, the 6 Plus logo in the corner. And then we have all of these wonderful um, touches that are reminiscent of the movie. So we have, I mean, you can see the Mad Hatter there on that pocket watch. We have pocket watches, the moth, or the butterfly. And then, of course, more pocket watches, Mad Hatter's hat, and then all of the wonderful gold foil and all of the gears, things that look like compasses everywhere. We have the uh, emblem here in the middle, which is, of course, what uh, magnetically keeps it shut. So we have Disney, Disney Alice to the Looking Glass, limited edition one of 450, Alice and Mad Hatter. Um, and then, of course, there it is in French as well. And then if we turn to the side, this is back when they didn't have window displays in the platinum boxes. They just closed up entirely. So each side is completely enclosed. Now if I turn it again, these things are huge. You can see we have all of this really pretty, kind of like a sky blue color um, going on there. Really, really nice with some silver embellishments. Alice and Mad Hatter, if you'd like to pause and read it here, you certainly can. Certificate of Authenticity and Display Stand included. These sets were $750 back in the day, which is crazy. That's <laughs> absolutely crazy. And then if we turn it one more time, you'll see the other side. And then if we take a quick look at the top, you'll see that there is a window display down into the set itself. Now what you can do, um, and I actually, I display my platinum sets, I take the full cover off. You can actually take this full cover off and you'll see there is then a window display of the actual set itself. And then it says Alice and Mad Hatter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the plastic off and this outer cover off. All right, so I do have the set out of the box now and the plastic is now gone. Um, the platinum sets, those plastic covers, oh my golly, are they a pain? It's gonna be a lot of fun putting it back on. Uh, but once I put it back on, I'm never taking it off again. <laughs> the newer ones are easier to take out. The older ones, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. But anyhow, so you can see here in the background, we have um, this really, this is like a scene from the movie. Uh, I can kind of push things aside a little bit here. You can see um, really, really cool. I'm trying to get in there as best I can. Just the downtown area that we see in the movie. Um, and then a cobblestone walkway there at the base. And then um, you can see here too, there's the Mad Hatter shop because there's the hat. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I love that we got more backstory on the Mad Hatter himself. I thought that was pretty neat in this movie, but nonetheless. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a really good look at the dolls themselves. We'll take a look at Mad Hatter first. So he looks wicked cool, I think. Um, he has on a really cool like safari hat and plaid. And then there is a fabric, kind of like a tie scarf thing going around this, the middle there. The hat itself is plastic, but you can see there's a hat pin there. He has his wild and crazy curly red hair. And instead of having rooted eyelashes, he has rooted eyebrows, which I thought was really fun. We have the signature Mad Hatter eyes, love them. It's a little creepy, but at the same time, that's partly why I love this set. It looks so, so good. The face mold, I think is pretty darn good uh, in likeness to Johnny Depp. So I think they did a very, very good job. The hair itself, full of product. So of course it keeps that. Um, curl to it I, i'm okay with it because of the hairstyle so that's all good there coming down we have what i think is one of the most intricate and detailed um, pieces of clothing i have seen on a limited edition male doll and i own all of them except for two <laughs> so I, that's saying a lot um it's it is intense so we have this really nice soft kind of it almost makes it look like it's supposed to be a pleather but it's like a really soft i don't even know how to describe it i'm not quite sure but i like it it's a really suede type material there we go not leather suede um and then there's a little um area there for the pocket watch type of deal that he's got with this braided multi-colored cord and then a little um charm there he has a double breasted um, front there and he's got this really awesome um, green shirt with like a scarf underneath it 
There's embroidery all over where the, the bell ties go. He's got this um, leather strapped harness going across body, across his waist. Coming down, you can see better kind of how the, the bell ties work there. So the bell is on the one side and it ties through like buttons there. He has a leather whip with a handle here of a bone that's carved to make it look like a duck. And then the duck itself has little red gem eyes. I mean, look at that, holy smokes. His pants are amazing. I mean, look at those pants. There's embroidery that goes down them. You can see his shirt there. He has very specific hand molds. He has a big ring, a thimble, a bandage on this hand. And then on this hand, he has a painted thumbnail, more painted fingernails, a, th a thimble, and then another ring. You can see there the watch. Um, I mean, just the amount of detail in this set is absolutely, I, oh, it's unbeatable. I love it. Um, you can see there he has his really cool boots on. Um, tie up, of course, but they're plastic. But nonetheless, I don't care. I love them. You can see the like almost like scuff marks painted into them. The brass buckles painted into them. Really, really nice. And then they have the old style stand, which I prefer. I love their circle stands compared to the oval stands. The circle stands, I think, uh, hold the doll better. But Mad Hatter is just, oh, and I forgot. He's got a little canteen right there, a little, uh, like a water flask. So... I just, uh, his periscope, there's just so much. There's a little satchel there and binoculars there, or maybe that's his um, sewing kit. I can't remember which, it's been a minute since I've seen the movie. There is so much detail in this set that uh, just in Mad Hatter alone, that I would have paid $120 just for him without even thinking twice. Like, hands down, amazing, an amazing, amazing limited edition doll. Now on to Alice, and oh my word, I have said since the start, and I will continue to say throw it, say so till I die, and I will die on this hill, I don't care. I think that the Alice of the Looking Glass limited edition live action dolls are some of the best when it comes to face molds. Um, the only other one that I think comes close is the Emma Stone from Cruella. The rest are good, but these ones are amazing. I think this looks exactly like the actress, and you can disagree with me, and that's fine, I don't care, it's all good but they nailed it with these face molds. So we have her beautiful blondish colored hair there, um, her rooted eyelashes. I love how they painted the eyes on these. If you look, they've got like a, a spinning wheel, spindle wheel almost look to them for the uh, iris. And then coming down, she has um, some sad curls going on in her hair. Coming up, you can see it's just in a, a simple little ponytail. Um, there's like a little plastic something, right? I think it's just a tie to hold it down. It doesn't look like it's anything else. Uh, but yeah, just nice, simple blonde curls. Her outfit, mm -hmm, love it. They had such unique garments in this film. I loved all of them. So she has on this multi-buckle front vest and then poof sleeves. You can see here, they're separate pieces. You can kind of, you, you can separate them there if you wanted to. And then underneath is the sleeve that matches. And then she has these really big cuffs, love them. She has a generic, uh, generic hand mold, nothing like, you know, specific, kind of like the old male dolls used to be, you know, all the old uh, female dolls used to be. They were just kind of a generic hand mold. Um, now they do much, much better, I think. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Times change. Um, but you can see there, the top part comes down into this kind of like tail, uh, coat tails here in the back. I can get one out there they go they come to a point and then she has on pantaloons that are absolutely just absolutely phenomenal i love 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 her outfit look how big these pants are really nice soft cotton material with um stitching and embroidery the embroidery up here is intense she has metallic buttons that are diamond cut um just really really nice and then you come down and she has kind of like i don't even know what to call these there's like a medallion with some ribbon. And then these shoes, oh my word, look at these heels. They are phenomenally, phenomenally well done. I love them. I love this set. I love this set so much. I've been looking for it for so long and to now finally own it and be able to look at the details. I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. I love this set. It, it's, it's everything, it's absolutely everything. But there is the limited edition of 450, Alice with the Looking Glass, Mad Hatter and Alice doll set. All right, everyone, well, that's gonna do it for my review of the Alice and Mad Hatter set that released back when the movie released, so it's been some years. Hope everybody enjoyed. Once again, a massive, massive thank you 
to the individual who gifted this to me. I still wish I knew who you were and I want to thank you a million times over because this set means the world and I am just in awe. So thank you again. Um, I will treasure this set forever, literally for absolutely ever. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Hope everyone enjoyed. Hope everyone is having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon.